Next, it's my interview about Diana with its star, Naomi Watts, an interview which, as you might have heard, uh, she ended earlier than expected. So I should uh, just say that what you're about to hear is the conversation exactly as it happened. My end of the conversation was recorded in a BBC studio. Naomi's by one of our engineers at Claridge's Hotel, which is where a lot of these uh, uh, interviews take place. We haven't changed anything. We haven't edited anything out. As I said on last Friday's programme, I wasn't in the same room as Naomi, but one of our production team was, which is how we know that it was Naomi herself who chose to leave the interview before the 10 minutes we'd been allocated was up, as you're about to hear. But we start off just fine. Uh, here's a clip from Diana. This is the film's interpretation of Diana's first meeting with Dr. Hasnat Khan. Are you going down? Yes. Thanks, I was uh, just seeing Joseph. It's so much better. So the top floor's not on that floor. Right. Yes, well, I, I got lost and, you know, went a bit wrong. Actually, I didn't get lost. I was snooping. Hospitals fascinate me. Are you being serious? Yes. When I visit hospitals, I get excited. I feel like I can make a contribution. Well, perhaps I can show you around. I would adore that. And that's a clip from Diana. I'm delighted to say I've been joined by its star, Naomi Watts, who plays the Princess of Wales. Naomi, hello, good afternoon. Hello. Now, we have a slight delay on the line. How are which you? We, yeah, we will try not to talk over each other. Uh, I'm very good. Thank you very much indeed. So, I am most intrigued to know... Um, when you were asked to play the Princess of Wales, the thought process that, that, that went through your head, because the job of playing in a movie for the first time, the most famous woman of our lifetime, must have been extremely daunting. Yes, it was. And um, the idea was told to me by my agent, and I was not sure that it was a good idea, but I was curious at the same time. And so, of course, I read the script and... Um, when I saw that it was centering around this love story, um, which was one that I knew nothing about. And for all the information that um, was available at the time when she was alive and um, even after, I, I, never, I n had never stumbled across this story. So that was interesting to me. Um, I also liked, I guess... You know, despite the fact that I was struggling with with these um, with the decision to do it, I, I did end up uh, feeling that the the idea of doing a transformation was a good one, um, and that uh, she was a fascinating character. She embodied all things that I like to explore in in any female character I play, um, and. You know, I, I just, I, I was afraid of doing it because of everyone's comparisons and, oh, we we knew Diana, We our version must be true and therefore she belongs to us. So taking possession of, of this character was, was very challenging and very scary, you know, and creating the things. Obviously, I'm not a, a Diana lookalike at, at, at all, um, but, you know, I, I, I was thinking, well, that they're scary reasons to do it, but they're also intriguing. And that's why I ended up saying yes. And when you said the idea of a transformation was a good one, can you explain what you mean by that? Well, you know, I, like I said, I'm, I look nothing like her. And, and um, her voice, her walk, her, um, her mannerisms, they're, they're all very different to mine. So that, that's a transformation, I think, I'm talking about. So was there a key to getting it right was it the posture yes i think there the were certain things that eyes? we there were certain things that yes exactly that we remember well the way she looked from beneath the fringe and with those powerful eyes and that would turn to vulnerable eyes um and there were bits of footage that we remember well i.e the bashir interview um, and those images, those those um, ones that were on the boat in the last month of her life, um, yeah, they they uh, we wanted to be as exact as possible when recreating exact moments. But f for the most part, particularly the stuff that plays out in 
in the, the palace, it was open for interpretation. Um, it's, it's not a documentary by any means, um, and creative license has to be taken. Yes, well, on the story, and it, 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 it's not really a biopic, is it? Because it is, as you say, it's just concentrating essentially on the relationship that she had with Hasnat Khan, the heart surgeon, and then a bit of the Dodi Fayyad uh, relationship as well. How, so how much of what we see do we know is true? Well, it centers around a few things and the, of information that was available to us, which is the, the, the testimony that um, Hasnat Khan makes at the inquest, the public inquest, um, the Bashir interview. Um, Kate Snell's book, it was hugely researched um, and she spoke to several members of Hasnat Khan's family. Um, I found it all fascinating and wanted to go out and see if it was true myself. And I found people available um, around that knew her who were available to talk and, um, and they seem to endorse what was said on, uh, in Kate Snell's book. Um, but again, it's hard to say. I, I was not in the room with, with the two of them at the time. So what happened in scenes where it's just the two of them is, is, uh, is uh, open for interpretation. So I understand you to mean that, that you, you spoke to, to friends of Diana to sort of fill in some of the story. A couple of people, yes that told me that this relationship was was definitely a meaningful and deep one and were they happy to to speak to you yes they were did you say were they happy you d you dropped out for a second Yes, yeah. I'm sorry. There are some there are some problems on the line. Yes, I just wondered that the people that you spoke to to fill in the picture were they were they happy and willing to to speak? Because I think they've spoken anonymously. There were there are some people I've spoken to that were willing. Yes, and I will not name them. No, there there is that there is that sense still after all these years that we're sort of walking on on dangerous territory. You know that that people are still nervous about how this story will be interpreted. Yeah, I mean, have you seen the film? Yes, of course I've seen the film, yes. Okay. So, I mean, while it's an, a controversial idea, it's, I, I think the, the story itself is not that controversial. What we focus on is the love story, which we know was, ha took place and happened. Um, and, you know, it's, we, we have to invent some of it to, to create... Um, something that's worth putting on film. Um, I think the two characters found a connection to, e to each other because of their need to heal. Uh, they both had that uh, in them. And um, the story played out well in, on the page to me, and it was, it was an interesting one to play. And, uh, and also, although clearly there, I mean, there are some crazy scenes when we go back into that, uh, the madness, which is one of the bits, I think, which the, which the film does does very well. But also it doesn't shy away from the fact that she orchestrated some of the press as well. And we see you on the phone to the press sort of arranging for them to be there. Right. Well, I think if I was living with that level of scrutiny on a constant and daily basis, I would want to find a way to try and control. Um, I think the 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 level of media attention was was very difficult for anyone to have to contend with and that that i mean it's heartbreaking to to watch that um it would make for a very isolating existence and i can s relate to someone when when they feel the temptation to try and control it um and i think her She'd been living out that love story with Hasnat Khan in such privacy and such secrecy. Um, and who knows why she made that call. But um, it's, it seems to me that she was wanting to um, enjoy life in, in, without the secrecy, maybe, at that point. There's a scene towards the end of the movie, Naomi, where, uh, which appears to be filmed outside Kensington Palace uh, and all the flowers that are arrayed there. And I was thinking at the time, which is, presumably you have to get permission to film outside Kensington Palace. And I wondered... Yes, we had permission. And, and We did get permission. Yeah. 
which is sort of tacit support. Yeah, I think we're getting the wind up, sorry. We're getting the wind up, I'm really sorry, but it's nice talking to you. Okay, we were given ten minutes, we've had eight and a half, which is why I was still asking questions. Oh, well, I think we're running late and we've got to go to the next thing. Okay, well, could we perhaps just finish up the interview properly? We have to wrap it up now. Could we perhaps finish the interview properly as... As, as we started it, otherwise we can't use the interview. Sorry. Well done. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And that's uh, the sound of Naomi walking out. So just uh, so just to make things absolutely uh, clear, though Naomi said she was being given the the wind up. Um, we know, as I said before, because one of our production team was there that that she wasn't, and it was her decision to. Uh, to finish the interview, which he's quite at liberty to do. And listening again to that, I can only reiterate that I'm a, a little bit baffled as to why she was so uncomfortable. There seemed to be... Maybe she misinterpreted one of my questions with a bit about walking on eggshells. I don't know. What do you think, Mark? I mean, I haven't seen the film, so I'm seeing it on uh, on Tuesday. I mean, I'm so out of the loop with all that stuff, but I don't, I, the Hasnat Khan stuff, I'm afraid... <laughs> it's like... Could you hear a, a, a point there where she might have... I couldn't, know. So, you know. Well, you've heard the, you've heard the interview, so uh, uh, mayo at bbc.co.uk, 5058, if you, uh, if you wish to uh, comment. The review will happen. Uh, well, next, on, next week next when week. I say it. I mean, and also, because you, you've seen the film as well, so we, we will be able to discuss the film then. So, I mean, you haven't told me what you thought of the film yet, and in a way I don't want to know. I know there's been an awful lot of press about reviews of the film, but I've been sure, I thought, I, you know, I, I want to just be able to watch it. You know, as is, but we will discuss it in full next week. And Mayo at bbc.co.uk on the emails. Uh, and if you're watching the live stream of us uh, focused relentlessly on uh, on the last 10 minutes, that would have made for some interesting viewing. Uh, let-